I'm Joey Chaos, here back with our instructional videos. I'm here with Robbie Phoenix and RJ Santos. What we're gonna show you today is how to do the running Rana. Um, it's, uh, it's definitely different than the regular uh, Frankensteiner or Hudakun Rana. The regular one, my man would come straight up into my face with his legs over with the head scissors and flip me over. Running run is a little bit different. Uh, RJ is gonna be giving it. So if he's coming off the ropes, and look at the height difference here. Uh, some people that do it, I think that you guys need to work on your box jumps. Um, you got to be able to jump high. Uh, here's a little key to help you out if you're a baser. If my man can jump high, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go low for him. And all he's got to do is put this first leg over here and he's going to just go ahead and throw this one over. And you see how low I am and I could do that by going right here. And I got a good base so I'm not going to get tipped over. Okay, and I'm going to pick him up, give him that air and go. Now, if you see the way I'm, I'm kind of pivot, I'm not looking straight at him like this. Not with my hips. I'm right here. I'm giving him that base. And I, the, the main thing is really I want to try to get low and get him up. Okay? So if you're going to do it, I recommend working on those box jumps. Uh, if you catch yourself, people asking to want to do it, and you're the fucking man, you're going to make everybody look great. So that's what I recommend is just go ahead and go a little lower. RJ is going to go ahead and jump up. I got the habit of kind of just helping him out to go ahead and get it. So um, once again, I'm based right here, got a good stance. I'm not gonna tip over. As he comes in, he's gonna swing that first leg right there. Then he's gonna go ahead and bring the left leg right up to here. And I'm gonna swing him that way and just go ahead and take my bump. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll whip you this way. Here we go. Shoop. Okay, so running Ronda there. Robbie Phoenix, you wanna go ahead and uh, give your pointers? Um, when you're going guys as you bring as you bring your leg up you don't have to jump as I come up You're gonna swing your leg. So as you swing I'm using your momentum to swing So here we go Shoot. Yeah. And you definitely see the way RJ does it he has to he has to go for it. Um, I don't recommend Doing this move if you have to grab the guy's head uh, bringing, touching someone's head, they might have neck surgery, whatever the case is, be very delicate on touching their head, or even just pulling their head to bring them down. And if they're not a good base, they're going to go ahead and, uh, and fall on their ass. Now, this is a, definitely a move that has to be practiced on both ends. Uh, RJ has to know how to do it as he goes up. He's whipping his body back, head coming back, trusting me that I'm not going to slam his head on the floor. Um, and as I get it, I have to have the confidence in the base uh, to go ahead and base him and not drop him and just crunch on, on, on contact. So let's go one more. Rana. Okay, and then one more, Robbie. And definitely on your bump, you could even keep spinning them if you have to go outside the ring. You can really take your bump wherever you want, want to. You see the way we did it. We did it right in the center of the, uh, center of the ring. So definitely the pointers are have a great base, get low, lift your guy up. Your man go, uh, has to just really throw that one leg up and then we'll go in the elevator his ass up and whip him. But he's got to help me. Uh, it can be done where I just throw him myself, but that doesn't equal two great wrestlers. So. Uh, both ends should be working on that. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and hit it on, on that uh, right below the video. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll go ahead and catch you on the next one.